She's a pretty brown thing Got them curls that came And everybody knows When they see me It's take glow She's got beauty and brain A glow that shines through rain She's take glow First things first, I keep a notepad just to keep track of my orders. For example, if someone has a size seven and they wanted a black shoe with pink, I wanna make sure I have that so that I don't get confused and accidentally put the pink with the white shoe or put the wrong colors on the wrong shoe, you know? Next, I just wanna grab the size shoe that I want and then start cutting off any materials that's on them. And I just get these shoes from Walmart for about $5.88 materials you will need is a hot glue gun and some glue sticks you can get these from Hobby Lobby Walmart pretty much anywhere for about $3.99 both here I'm showing you that you want to make sure you grab the same size boas I just have two different sizes because I had one before the other the dark pink one I got from Walmart and it's a lot smaller so your slides will be less fluffy so I advise you to get them from Hobby Lobby do not get them from Walmart like you see the colorful one is very fluffy very thick so then you just want to gather your colors and see how you you want them to go or the best way that they will flow together so on this particular shoe I did a vertical design so you will see me applying the glue down the middle and this is for uh, that darker pink I wanted the darker pink to be in the middle and since I did use that smaller boa I really wish I would have overlaid it more times but let's say I did get the dark pink boa from Hobby Lobby which they do have I would have a uh, Put that on there three times just to make sure it showed better you'll see me here with the smaller one putting it on two times which i wish i hadn't have done because it didn't really show and even with the bigger boa i still would have done it three times because i had a lot more space than i thought i would have if that if that makes sense to y'all so what you've seen me do is apply that glue vertically and then i also laid that boa on vertically and now you see me cutting it and you want to avoid cutting as much as possible this will eliminate mess and then you know you're gonna uh, have to change your glue a couple times you'll use a lot of glue sticks so you want to get a couple packs of these glue so next you see me clipping the end off the pink because that's the next color I use so after the dark pink I wanted my design to have like the light pink surrounding that darker pink and then the colorful pink on the outside so I just take that vertical vertically push the hair out the way you want to make sure you move the fur as you're applying the glue this is what's going to help you keep it fluffier because if you apply it over other fur you're just going to be losing your fur if that makes sense there's really no special technique with this you just want to apply a good layer of the glue and then push the fur into it to where you feel it's very secure and you will see me clip this off right here like i said the pink one in the middle i wish i would have done it about three times if i had used the thicker boa from hobby lobby then i wish i would have used a lighter pink one about twice just to make sure these colors really showed so make sure you get that dark pink piece or whatever your middle piece is centered so that it doesn't look crooked so that your design is completely centered so you see me applying the other side of that that light pink to go around the darker pink and right now it still looks good like you can still see every color but once you go in with more fur on the sides it's going to squeeze together and cover all the colors So now you see I'm going in with the last color and y'all see all the space I have left. That's enough to wrap that around four to six times depending on how fluffy you want your slides. But if I had done it how I wanted to, I would have preferred to only have two rows left for this uh, colorful pink so that the middle two colors could be seen. So oh, pretty much the rest of this is just me applying the glue, moving the hair out the way, or technically moving the hair out the way, and then applying the glue, and then just flipping it around. I'm not doing any cutting at this point since it's all the same color. Just flipping around, repeating that same process on both sides. 
get to the last piece, you want to put a little bit more glue just to make sure it's fully secured at the ends. And then you go ahead and cut that off. And as you can see, the, uh, the colors that I have the one layer of looks less fluffy because the flip over method creates more fluff, which is also why I said I wish I had added more layers of that one. So right now you just see me going in trying to fix what I did since I can no longer see that color. I just applied the glue over that pink piece and then I just put it on the fur. This isn't gonna be as secure as putting it onto the slide, but it works. Once you're finally done with the slide, if you see any uneven pieces, which I did since I didn't use the flip over method in the middle, I just go in and cut off any really long pieces on the ends to make sure it looks even and not like some ghetto slides that look like they were just thrown together. But you don't wanna cut it too much because if you take away that fur, you're gonna see the little nub that the fur wraps around. For this one, my customer wanted orange, yellow, and green. And for these colors, you have to think logically. So when I said think logically, for example, I decided to choose yellow as my middle color because I feel like yellow could be a color next to green or yellow is a color next to orange, right? Because they're similar, not like orange next to green. They're not close colors, but yellow is close to orange. Yellow is close to green. So this pair is going to be a lot less complicated. We're just applying it horizontally which is so much easier is less cutting and you don't have to think as much as far as how many layers you have to do I just did two two and two so I start out by applying that layer of glue and then I literally just put my fur onto it and you want to make sure you secure it by pushing down on it only difference is when I'm doing it horizontally I work in a lot smaller section and this is because you want to avoid putting that glue all over because the fur is going to get in the glue and cover it and you're no longer going to have glue to be able to stick your new layer of fur onto. Just like that we have two layers and then you just want to go ahead and cut off your piece and although we work in sections on this this is still a lot faster than going vertically and it also looks a lot smoother to me personally i personally prefer the vertical designs and then you see me just cutting off the little clump part that i was telling y'all about earlier in the yellow and then i'm just going to repeat that same process throughout the entire shoe That's all I have for today. Comment down below any questions you have, but be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on my post notification bell to make sure you don't miss any time I post. Peace out, Teglo gang.